Hype TV people! Hello. New concrete floors. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tuition now on how we do the concrete floors and what the method is and the reasons as to why. And the reason that we decided to dig this out is because by digging it out and putting an insulated floor in, we are better for the saps calcs, which means the flats are gonna be warmer. It's a new concrete floor. And also because we've come down, it's now going to be all one flat level. Cause it's like, I said, as I said before, in a previous video along there where my finger is, it actually had two or three steps up. So the height inside there was quite high. So the method is once you've dug in, once you've dug a, a, a trench, so let's just say we've had a digger in now, we've dug it out to the depth that we want. This is how we do it. So you know the song, this is how we do it. Dun, 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 dun. This is how we do it. So again, we've dug down. First thing we've done is made sure the sub base is good. And that is underneath there. So, We've got hardcore first, and it's all been whackered down. So hardcore is the, the, the limestone, ch the chippings, the, so it makes a, a firm base. On top of that, we then put a, an inch or two inches worth of sand, which is called sand blinding. And the reason we do that is because once the hardcore's gone down, because it's lots and lots of bricks, it's all on an even surface. And what we don't want to do is we don't want damp to come up and get into the into the base we don't want damp in the concrete so we install what's called a dpm and dpm stands for damp proof membrane and it's basically a thin piece of plastic which is literally this so it's just a piece of plastic sheeting not very thick but then what we don't want to do is put that directly on top of the bricks because if we put it on top directly on top of the bricks what we're going to have there is a, it's a chance that once the concrete goes down with the weight of it and pushes on there, it might pierce it. And then that could be a position there where the damp can come through. So what we do is install what's called a, a, a sand blinding. So it's about an inch or two inches worth of sand that's scattered all over the top of the, that scattered all over the, top of the, um, the hard core, which is all the rough bricks. And that's to protect this. We then lay down this black, black plastic stuff called the DPM. And the idea of that is, if it then pushes down, it's got two inches worth of sand, so it's never going to get impregnated or perished or, or, or burst, basically. So we do that first. So, so that's where we are on this layer here. So this is the black, the black layer, and underneath there we've got sand, and underneath there we've got the, underneath that we've got the, the MOT. So, so we've got the MOT first, then the sand, then we've got this damp-proof membrane here, after that is your insulation. So we've got 100 mil insulation here. That's per the Saps Calx, which goes on top. Like that. It's just a big jigsaw of insulation all the way around. We also do an upstand. And we call we do the upstand so that it's the, it's that's the height of the concrete so that so that the damp can't when the, when the floor's down, the damp can't get into the brickwork and the brickwork damp can't come into the concrete floor, so we've isolated it. And obviously again, it's insulated there for the thermal values. And then over the top of the insulation, as you can see, it's then another layer of DPM. Like so. So when it's like this and it's all level, excuse this part here, we then fill it with concrete to the, the desire, desired height, and then that's the floor done. So again, the method is MOT or hardcore, then you've got sand on top, then you've got a layer of plastic called DPM, and the sand is to stop it from pushing down and, and bursting on the bricks. Then you've got your insulation again, which needs to be worked out by your salps calcs. Your salps calcs. Uh, then you've got another layer of D DPM to make doubly sure, and then it's the concrete going straight on top of there. And that's how you do a floor. Now that replies whether you're doing a, replacing a timber floor or just want to change the floor for whatever reason, or if you've got red ash or anything else, the method is still the same. And that's how you do it.
The moment you've all been waiting for, folks. It's coming out. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Pour the conk. Unleash your load all over the floor. It's the only time you can do it and not get in trouble. <laughs> it's the f***ing thing in beauty, folks. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll see you later. Everyone's scared of the camera now, so I'll get you off.